Hey everybody, it's the Civil Knight here with a new Let's Play of Banjo Kazooie! Woo! But everyone's excited about this one. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. All right, this is being played on, as you can see, the Xbox because um, I was originally gonna do this on the N64, but then my N64 kind of crapped out. But anyways, uh, welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. Same way we can either sleep, we can cook, or we can. Oh, we're playing video games. I don't care, man. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just gonna stay quiet for this opening cutscene. <laughs> ding pa, ding pa, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grundy only day. She really takes my breath away. Tough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me from the crowd. I need a better voice for her. Hold on. Give me a second. Er, uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There is no way prettier than me. No. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you're f you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Well, well, we'll see about that. God, I can't get a good voice for her. And it looks like this is young Tootie running through the fields. Back to home. And that was Gruntilda, the witch of Spiral Mountain. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? Well, my big lazy brother wakes up. We're going on an adventure! And this is Banjo, our lazy hero, taking a nap, like a champ. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, she'll st I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be! <laughs> Is that your brother? Where? Mr. Mole, I can't see him. Up there in the sky. <laughs> I don't think so. Who is there? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon be bear underwear. Some need under. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody help. Banjo, wake up! Now! Lazy. Come on. Ugh, what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside. There's trouble about. Ah. Oh. Why would you put him on a coat rack? And we have now gained control of our hero. Alright, so as in any game, it is your jump button. Wow, is that really a vertical? Jeez. Hello, Bottles. This is Bottles, by the way. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here is my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was that all that noise about? Where's my sister? Tootie. The ugly witch can tell the swoop down out of the sky and grab me. Calm down, Kiki. We'll get her back. Where did she go? 
she flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there in a sad panda pair. Anyways, Iz is gonna offer us some basic moves. I'm not gonna go through it because... Uh... No, I'm not gonna go through it. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. Mm, very well, I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. As Bottle just so politely said, that is Spiral Mountain. No, that's that's the Witch's Keep, Spiral Mountain, right next to it. Anyways, he just gave us our basic moves, so, you know, we got a rolling ability, we got a jumping ability, and you said you didn't need my help, so you're on your own until you get inside. Well, fine, I didn't want your help anyways. We can jump attack when you hit the roll. Those are honeycombs. They are your health in this game. As you see, we have five honeycombs right away. Also, if you double hit A, you get a flutter. If you crouch and press A, you'll jump. And we're collecting these honeycombs. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of, six of us, and you'll have a cereal. Hmm, I love cereal. I'm gonna collect all of them and then have the best breakfast of them all. Not oh, with these honeycombs, though. Alright, so... This, this right here is gonna teach us about how to do a jump attack. As I just explained, you just... Uh, jump and attack. Uh, I'll have the controls flash up for both Xbox and Nintendo 64. But, um, basically it's... Like, it's, it's similar. This one you want to crouch and attack. You're, you're, of course you're going to be using two buttons, because this is a N64 game, and of course A and B were your primary, um, you know, buttons. While C sticks were, uh, well, they were kind of there for moving the camera, and also just, uh, I don't know, just extra stuff in other games. Anyways, as you saw, we got a honeycomb from smashing up those brick guys. Bricks. Or rock guys, my apologies. Sorry, I gotta be grammatically correct. Jeez. Go across the bridge, and in this tree, surprisingly, there is a honeycomb. Yay, we have four. In Spiral Mountain, there's a total of six of them. So, we'll be grabbing them all. Also, right over here is one of the three or two. I think there's two. But, um, oh, also a honeycomb. But in this... I failed to show it, but... Uh, there is a man statue. Uh, a trophy, sorry. And, uh, they are the extra lives in this game. There's also one on top of Banjo's house. Which, uh, I think I'll get. Because I haven't shown the inside of Banjo's house. Even though there's not much to it. But, you know. Uh, we've already been over here. Yes, we have. Alright, so we did a full circle of Spiral Mountain. No, I don't want to talk to you, Bottles. I'm sorry. You, you, you're a cool character. No, I'm just joking. You're the meanest character ever. And, oh, you people will find out why. Why Bottles is the biggest jerk in history. Oh, he is a mean one. He may look nice, but he's not. Anyways, as you see, we got a Banjo trophy right up here to give us an extra life. Look out for me, I'm an extra life. Well, thank you. I just told the viewers that. Into our house. As you can see, we have a pitcher. Of bottles? Why do we have a pitcher of bottles in our house? That's a little weird. We got a goldfish. We got a clock. We got our sister Tootie. Because I'm assuming she lives with us. And... I don't know where she would sleep. I guess on this rug right here. Yeah, that's right. We get the bed. You get the rug. Alright, so yeah, not much in Banjo's house. Not until later. Dun, dun, dun! But some of you knew that already. So, it's not a big shocker. So anyways. Alright, next we're going to go into the water and get into the water physics. 
Anyways, you're gonna use your attack button to dive, and A to float, or not float, but flutter, and then use your attack to do a big glide. And it, it goes very fast, but you have um, a little less, I don't know, control, I guess, than A. I don't know, the water physics is okay. But with that, right under the spiral mountain, we get a honeycomb, and when you collect all of them, you get an extra life. Well, not an extra life, but an extra hit. Your HP goes up. Your maximum HP. Anyways, that's about everything we can do in Spiral Mountain, other than getting that uh, trophy at the waterfall. Actually, no, I'll, uh, no, I won't. Anyways, as you just saw, I just did a little shortcut. Or you can just go over there and hop up, but... You know what? This is the first time we're climbing Spiral Mountain. So I feel we should do it the correct way. We're going in... Oh, it sounds like it's wet. Gross. Anyways, here's bottles. So you're ready to tackle the witch now? We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside, good luck. Why, thank you, kind sir. I appreciate you. Alright, wow, this is a this is a rickety bridge. Anyways, let's enter the mouth of Gruntilda's lair. Oh no, Tootie! She has them captured. With lasers! This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. The, my brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, mistress. Couldn't tell the power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo, help. Oh no, we better hurry. Stop laughing at me. There is he. There he is. The fun begins. My tricks and traps sees who wins. Another thing I forgot to mention about Gruntilda is that she rhymes a lot. You rhyme too much, good hag. Anyways, I think that's where I'm going to leave it off. In the next part we're gonna actually delve into the world that is Banjo-Kazooie. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, do anything. Let me know how this turns out because I really want some feedback on how LP goes. And uh... <laughs> oh, Kazooie, why did you hit me in the head? This is gonna be a fun adventure, guys. I'm so stoked. Alright, guys, I'll see you in the next part.